Thank you uh, for attending uh, this web webinar. Uh, my name is uh, Rafał Vajda and uh, I will be supporting a little uh, Dr. Marek Skowronek, uh, who will be the main presenter of today's webinar. Uh, as I'm sure you know, uh, the topic of today's uh, of this webinar is uh, uh, are the latest uh, ICH uh, guidelines for analytical method validation. Uh, this is actually part three of a series of uh, mm, uh, our webinars in this area. Uh, in this uh, in this part, we will show you some examples, um, and if you are interested in in some in uh, the more same article uh, information about uh, these uh, uh, guidelines and analytical method validation you can watch uh, the rec recordings of the first two parts that are shared on our website uh, this is a short agenda for today's meeting uh, first, I will briefly introduce you um, to our company, tell you who we are what, and what we do, and then I will um, uh, hand, um, uh, hand the screen over to uh, Dr. Marek uh, Skowronek, who will tell you more about the main topic of today's webinar. I will show you our app that will uh, help to um, analyze uh, that are needed by analytical method validation. Uh, so, in short, about us. So maybe I'll just turn off my camera so that I will not distract you. Uh, so we can focus on what we will show you. Okay, uh, our company Statsoft uh, has been uh, um, in the data analytics uh, business for for many years, for about thirty years. Now, uh, we uh, provide both services like training and consulting uh, when it comes to data analytics, as well as uh, uh, solutions. I mean, some standard software as well as big uh, dedicated um, uh, systems. Um, actually, in our case, uh, we are not starting uh, our say journey or talks with uh, our customers by uh, asking them what they need whether they need spc or um, artificial intelligence or statistics uh, no uh, we want to know what they need what they want to achieve uh, uh, what uh, kind of problems they encounter and then we can tell them if data analytics uh, can be solution can be a solution in their case and and decide uh, what kind of techniques should be used, uh, we are operating in many industries and uh, for many years, pharma industry has been our main area. This is uh, for for such companies we have most solutions, most services and uh, we have much uh, experience. Uh, there are many companies that uh, used our, that has been using our uh, services, uh, solutions, etc. And uh, here you can see logos of only some, some of them there. Uh, we have um, experience with uh, very big companies as well as small ones. Um, in other words, we can prepare a dedicated solution for you uh, that will uh, that will meet any need, any requirements of your company or uh, of the organizations that oversee the uh, pharmaceutical uh, market and pharmaceutical uh, companies. We can provide you with standard, standard software, for example, to generate some uh, standard uh, reports. We can also provide you services to tell you what kind of data analytics what kind of reports should be generated in a in a specific situations and we can provide you with uh, training services so that you uh, can learn uh, on uh, about how to how to do data analytics how to generate reports by yourselves and um, we have standard uh, module standard software for uh, pharma companies, depending on which area you are interested in. Uh, they are mm, modules that will let you uh, run analytics, 
run uh, reporting that are uh, specific uh, uh, for for many um, for different uh, departments uh, including laboratory or production departments and they are um, uh, prepared in such a way that uh, all the uh, things that are connected with uh, GMP or more general GXP are uh, met. Uh, usually these uh, modules are connected with a dedicated database, so it uh, stores data in a way that uh, it is it can be easily uh, analyzed and uh, there are many areas uh, that we cover with these modules and today uh, is uh, analytic combat validation, so it's worth to mention the our AMV module for analytical method validation, which you you, you will be able to uh, see in action in a in a moment. Let's say another level of what we can provide are more complex uh, systems, and in this case also mm, uh, there there are. There is a dedicated database, we call it analytical database, and it stores all the relevant um, data. And in this case, uh, data can re be retrieved from other sources like um, SAP or any other system, uh, other databases, uh, Excel files, or um, any, any measurement device. So it can be flexible and this data connections can be, uh, can be refreshed on the regular basis, so so you can be sure that in this database all the relevant data is is up to date. Uh, another, let's say, layer of uh, such a system are additional tools for system configuration, uh, managing users, for example, the access right uh, to to some some data sets, and uh, here you can also define. Uh, some config configurations for um, for for analysis for, for let's say uh, standard uh, standard report uh, templates, and uh, the last the third layer uh, is I think the most important, especially for the uh, end users because it includes all the data presentation. Um, let's say elements tools. Uh, here uh, you can access reports you can access online dashboard uh, via your uh, your um, uh, web browser uh, here you can define and uh, get notification alerts for example uh, when some um, OS or OOT uh, occurs uh, or any any other event that is that is specified uh, happens and here you can also define re reports even even uh, uh, schedule them to be generated on a regular basis on the basis of uh, the most uh, up to date data for now it's all i had to uh, say now i will uh, give the screen to dr marek skowronek who will tell you about the examples. Good afternoon. In this part of the webinar, I will show you an example of validation of uh, analytical method used for the determination of impurity and assay in the finished product. Using stats of AMV application, designed to statistically evaluate the performance characteristics, including accuracy, precision, calibration model, and lower range limit. The statistical methods implemented in the application were discussed in detail in the two previous webinars. So let's start by entering the raw data obtained during validation into the Excel spreadsheet. Okay, this is the Excel spreadsheets that contain raw data. The first, the first characteristics is the repeatability. The repeatability of the method was determined by adding impurity to the finished product in an amount corresponding to the specification limit of 1%. And six determinations 
were made under the same operating conditions. Row data were entered in the R sheet. Column A contains information about the level of concentration tested. Column D contains the determination values and column B and C are inactive.